Hi folks, welcome back, and as always, thanks for joining. So today, we have a special young scientist joining us, Alistair, and uh, we're going to learn how to make plastic using milk. And we're going to do it with a little bit of vinegar. We're also going to do a couple of things that I think would be fun to do. Uh, we're going to uh, add some food color. We're going to make a batch, but then we're going to split it in two. Because when you make plastic from milk, it dries rock hard. It's very strong plastic. But we're going to add something to that mix to make it flexible. We're going to use some glycerin. And we're going to see how that works out. Okay, let's get started. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to be tacking on some additional footage uh, presenting uh, additional information about the properties of milk plastic that has never been shown before on YouTube. And you get to see it first. So stick around. Okay, now let's get started. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've uh, poured two cups of fat-free milk into this container and I've heated it a little bit in the microwave and you want to keep it below uh, 65 centigrade about 60 centigrade is ideal for this procedure now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some vinegar in here now regular household vinegar will work just fine you may need to use this a little bit more of this than what I'm going to use here this is more concentrated I use this for cleaning and uh, killing weeds, so that's why I have this here. And as you can see, I don't need a whole lot, so I'm just going to use this little pipette. And I'm just going to squirt in about a tablespoon at a time until I see the curds form. Now the curds is the casein and it separates from the whey inside the milk and the curds are what we want that is the casein the protein found in milk we're going to give it just a moment to let the uh, vinegar work on the milk we're going to stir just a little bit and sometimes you may want to add just a little bit more vinegar but I see that uh, it's beginning to work already and just keep stirring until all of the casein precipitates out of the milk and what you have left are just big chunks of casein and the yellow liquid is the way and now we're going to separate this in a strainer we're going to pour it off into this and we can just use a regular towel like a kitchen towel or anything that you may have handy I think it's ready. Now what we have here is a nice gooey clump of casein protein and I'm just going to pick this up 
to show you what's left in the bottom. Now that is the way. And we're not going to use this. We're not going to use the yellow stuff. So I'm going to stop the video here and empty that because what I'm going to do when I come back is I'm going to rinse this with a little bit of water because now what we want to do is we want to wash out the vinegar. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to wash out the casein just a little bit. We want to uh, wash out the uh, vinegar with just a little bit of water. And I'm just pouring a little bit of water here. Now you can do this at the sink. I'm just doing it here just to show you. You just need just a little bit of water. And let it drain out. Now while I'm letting this finish draining, I want to show you what I have back here. I have just a little bit of a mold here. And I have some Teflon and a rolling pin. Now you don't need Teflon, you can use wax paper, that's fine too. Let's take out the, uh, the casein. It has drained nicely. Now because I want to do two things with this, I'm going to cut it in half, just a little, sort of, okay. Now with this half, I'm going to put it into this mold here, just the way it is. But first, how about we uh, use a little food color and make it a fun color. Okay, we may end up with green fingers here, so I am going to put on some gloves. Now you don't have to because the food color will wash off your hands, but because I'm making a video, I'm going to put on some gloves so that I can keep going. And all you want to do is just pour a little into, like this, just a couple of drops. Doesn't take a whole bunch. Okay, and let's just mush it around. That looks pretty good right there. It's beginning to clump on me just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it in the microwave again. Okay, so heat it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Some more water came out, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pour that off. We don't need it. And I'm going to stir this around just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I just want to make sure that it's not too hot to handle. And it feels very nice. Okay. Now. It's rubbery again. Let's just squish it down with the rolling pin. Now I have a, this is a square, but you can use any shape that you want. You may have something particular in mind. It 
didn't quite fill the mold, but I think you get the idea. We're going to let this dry and we're going to move on to the other half. That's kind of cute. And now with the other half, we're going to add the glycerin. And this is going to make the hard plastic flexible like rubber. But I thought for this one, let's uh, let's use another color for the uh, flexible one. And we're going to use a little bit of red. Okay. Now, I'm going to put in with this about 10 milliliters of glycerin. I'm going to do that first just to see how it works. another container here with another 10 milliliters of glycerin so we're going to use a 20 millimeters total well, I think that feels pretty good Okay, it's a little bit sticky. A few drops of the red. That was four drops. <clears throat> Let's see how that turns out. Okay. I think we have something going on pretty good here. So I'm going to stop the video again and I'm going to warm this back up in the microwave and we're going to do the same thing with this mix that we did with the green. Okay, so now I've done the same thing with the red. I've warmed it up in the microwave and there's a little bit of water that comes out so I'm pouring that off. take our mold okay and scoop this up okay get it all together it's sticky it's a little bit warm too so be careful uh, you don't want to get it too hot in the microwave Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, now there's that. So we have the green one. This one doesn't have any glycerin. And all we've done to this is add the glycerin. Now it's a different color, but that's so that we can tell apart what we've done. So red is glycerin. Now we need to let these dry and it may take a couple of days. And then we're going to come back and we're going to check it out. Okay. So here we have it. I have 
uh, sped things up a bit by placing these two items in an oven on low heat for a few hours at 250 degrees Fahrenheit uh, to dry them out. Now if you will recall this is just the uh, precipitated casein and this we added glycerin to it to keep it flexible. So uh, I'm going to show you now the difference between the two. Okay so the green here right so hard as a rock and you can cut this you can sand it uh, shape it into anything that you want and now the red which we added flex, uh, the glycerin to is still I made it thick but it is still still flexible and you can add more glycerin to this to make it even more flexible you can make it more thin uh, do anything you want okay I hope this has been fun, I hope it's been helpful, and I hope you try this for yourself. And if you like this channel, uh, please subscribe. And uh, I recently added a Patreon account as well. So uh, if you'd like to support the work that we're doing here in converting plastics into bioplastics, our focus is right now on the one-use plastics, which are the biggest problem. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, and the bonus footage that I was talking about. Okay, so one of the properties of casein plastic, milk plastic, is that it can be re-softened. So what I'm going to do is, okay, now this doesn't have the glycerin. And I'm going to pop this into the microwave and I'm going to warm it up and you're going to see something amazing that happens. We're going to give that about 30 seconds and see what that gives us. And here we have it. Once milk plastic has dried hard, it can still be warmed up in the microwave, reheated, and melted. Now this is a real boon to the plastic industry because this mimics the production of plastic made from oil. And you saw it first right here. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.